for today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with it. Call me Whisper. And this is what it looks like up close. You'll be able to get it from the military llamas. And the perks that we have on ours are crit damage, reload speed, water damage, crit rating, and damage to slowed and snared. And whenever we get headshot kills, it'll cause an explosion, damaging enemies within half tile for 30% weapon damage. And at the very bottom it says pistol semi-auto silenced military, a suppressed handgun that greatly reduces the distance enemies hear and react to the shots. Harder hitting and softer shooting than the standard semi-auto pistol, but at the cost of slightly slower aim recovery and lower capacity. As for our commander, we're going to be using Beetle Jess to increase our pistol crit damage. Oh, you like beetles. We're also going to be using a preemptive strike team perk. And for our support team, we're going to be using Gunblazer Southie, Ranger Deadeye, Buccaneer Jonesy, Crossbones Barrett, and Quick Draw Calamity. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 126, fight the category 3 storm. But don't expect. And we're also going to be doing it solo. Oh, who is this texting me? You know what? I'll um, I'll deal with that later. I think that was the wrong number. Before we get into the gameplay, I do want to test it out against this power level 132 smasher. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and test it out. 180s up oh, 222,000. All right, so we got a total of 12 rounds in the magazine, and it uses light bullets. Took us almost two magazines to kill him. I also want to test it against this power level 132 taker. No sword damage, phase shift, here we go. Oh, we killed him super quick. I didn't see how much damage we did, but we were able to kill him very quickly. So I also wanted to test it out against the blaster as well. And oh, let's go ahead and get some sword damage while we're at it. And the space shift. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, we killed him quick. I think that was within like nine or 10 shots. So that's what the Whisper looks like against the 132 Blaster. Another thing I wanted to point out is that it does come with a suppressor. You will be able to shoot husk without waking up any other husks that are nearby. So let's go ahead and take this one out. You see these are still sleeping. Now if the husks are too close to each other then it will wake them up. Let's see if this one... Oh, the explosion took him out. But as you can see, these are still sleeping. Sneak 100. And that's because we have the suppressor on it. So that's about how far the range is for the whisper. And here's how fast the fire rate is without any fire rate perks. And it looks like there's a little bit of recoil as well. But you will have to tap it every time in order to shoot. That's how fast the fire rate is. But yeah, the fire rate's actually not too bad. And the reload speed is actually not too bad either. But keep in mind, we do have a reload speed perk on it. Oh. Okay. That's enough blue glow. All right, here we go, people. Oh, I was about to shoot them. Go ahead, let them Ooh, run into their spawn. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start this off with our slow field and our teddy. Just to help us out a little bit. And considering we're playing solo against 132 Hus, I'm also going to try to play it careful. I do not want to go down uh -uh. here. Uh, we have fire Hus, obviously, because we're using water weapons. Are you serious? And uh, I'll go ahead and show you all the modifiers real quick. Uh, we have Exploding Death Burst as well as the Quickened Modifier. So we're also going to have to try to repair Sorry. whatever gets destroyed uh -uh. as well. Because of that Exploding Death Burst. Are you serious? Uh -uh. 
We do have a couple of defenders helping us out. As a matter of fact, we got three of them. And they're all using the water whisper. We have two on this atlas and we have another one on this atlas. So everybody's using the water whisper. It's like they're mainly just coming good. from this side. So let's just focus Can't. on this over here. Oh, oh Sorry. wow. It did a lot of damage because of that modifier. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to be careful here. Try to repair uh -uh. everything. Uh-uh. Wish I could. But yeah, we do have one atlas in the air and the other two on the ground. And normally what I like to do when it comes to atlases in the air is I like to put a ceiling over it and have wooden floor spikes on top of it to heal Sorry. it. Nope. Just in case lobbers do damage to it. You serious? And I also put a wall launcher up there too, just in case flingers throw some husk up there. It'll launch them off. Mm -mm. That's normally how I build when it comes to atlases that are in the air. Wish I could. But one thing uh -uh. I don't like about this atlas over here it happens. is Oof. it's like on top of the water. So hopefully our pieces attached to it don't break. And we may have to go over the build nope. limit here. Sorry. Because this stuff Can't. is starting to break. Uh -uh. And I don't like that. You serious? But yeah, when it comes to the whisper, oh, it looks like they broke through. Oh wow! Oh, attack. I didn't even see them breaking through over here. Oof. I knew, I noticed we lost some pieces, but I didn't know where we were losing those pieces. <gasps> we're gonna have to be careful too. Get out of here! But yeah, we just had some wall launchers over here that we're gonna have to replace. Oh man, and we're gonna have to heal ourselves. This is crazy, people. I'm starting to think maybe I should have put this dude in a, in another spot. Cold, dead hands off our laser. Oh man, they're still doing damage. To, oh man. All right, let's go ahead and replace these uh, wall launchers to help us out. Hopefully we don't die here. All right, let's replace it. Oh, uh -huh. and we have split. <gasps> nope. Can't. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a wooden floor spike on here just so it can heal Sorry. itself. Hopefully. Weirdos. And let's just try to take these dudes out. Oh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and throw up another slow uh, field. That'll uh, help. That'll definitely help. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I should have did that sooner. Uh -uh. And we may end up going over the build limit here because I do want to add some ceiling gas traps really as well. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'm out. Uh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves because I'm about to die here. Oh, did they break through? Okay. I thought they broke through over here too. Oh, man. We're gonna have to finish repairing that stuff over there though. As soon as I get a chance to. Nope. I don't know what happened over Can't. here, but uh -uh. evidently they destroyed some stuff. Oof. Is everything replaced? Sorry. You serious? Hopefully that'll hold up a little nope. bit better. Why can't I upgrade this? Uh-uh. There we go. Oof. Alright. So that one took a little bit of damage. Oh, we got him spotted Keep over your here now. Dead hands off our laser! Wait, where are they attacking now? A? We're going to have to check on A here. Because now they're doing damage to A. Let's get rid of all these Can't. lobbers if we can. Wall launcher coming in clutch. Alright, let's see what happened to A real so quick. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, they just... No. All hands, all hands. Atlas under attack. Wait, where is A? How are they getting it? Oh, embarrassing. We so good. I did not see that wide open. Uh uh. uh but not coming from that direction now, so let's go ahead and focus on this over here. Save the <gasps> Like, wow. I mean, I don't know if. I'm pretty sure we. Last time, uh. They didn't do this much damage to our atlases, but I did place a lot of traps last time. They've got me this time I wanted to make sure we didn't go over the limit, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe we should have went over the limit because they are doing so much damage over here. Let's go ahead and replace this stuff. Uh, no, let's just focus over here. They're spawning over here. Watch the skies. Two minutes left. This was this was rough. Oh, and we got takers. Taker spotted. Help me out, defenders. 
Oh, man, that was close. Uh, takers can do a lot of damage to you if you're underpowered, so I'm going to try to avoid them at all times. Can't. Plus, I need to check on this tunnel over Gross. here, because I do not want this Oof. atlas to Sorry. fail right here. Let's go repair all this. Okay. And, oh, we're going to have to replace some traps, too. We're missing traps. Wish I could. Let's uh, put a wall launcher on here. We only got a minute and a half left. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh, man. I, I tried to put it on that wall. They wouldn't let me. Nope, I'm out. It's so easy to lose all your health on can't. here, man. It's crazy. Uh, -uh. uh But when it comes to the Whisper, I don't really consider it to be one of the best pistols. I do like the fire rate on it. And I also like how uh, whenever we get headshots, it'll cause an explosion. I'm not sure if you can actually get them on the new whispers. Uh -huh. I got this whisper from the Blockbuster Llama, which came out last year. But yeah, I do like the the fire rate. I also like how. Atlas taking damage. Uh, oh no, slow field. Let's put a slow field on here. Can't. And replace this. I also like how uh, you can be sneaky with it, and it has Sorry. a suppressor on it. So that way you can be stealthy if you want to. Not that many guns have nope. suppressors on them. I think only like maybe. Three or four, not that many. Thirty seconds left to go. So those are some of the things I do like about it. But again, I wouldn't consider it to be uh -huh. one of the best pistols in the game. I think the most damage we did was like uh, two hundred thousand. If I had to compare it to any other pistol, I'd say it's very similar to the Coco Forty Five. Basically, the same thing. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Whisper Forty Five gameplay. For those of you who have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Triple threat, three Atlas victory. All right, so we ended up getting a level four loot chest with some gold, storm shards, and schematic XP. We also got some fire up. I do sort of have a lot of legendary perk up. Let's go ahead and get the re-perk because that's the only thing I sort of need at the moment. And we got some more fire up. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.